My dad started in the dairy business here in South Florida in, in 1947. So that was a little before I was born, and I just kind of grew up in the dairy business and worked in the family business for a long time. Well, I guess I'm just a cow man. Whether they're dairy cows or beef cows, I like cows. But I really enjoy working with the people. And, and it doesn't matter if it's people working at the dairy or at the ranch. Uh, with the operation our size, you have to have people. And I'm blessed to have some really good people that are well-trained and dedicated to their job. The main thing is to be clean. You know, hygiene is really a big deal, whether you're milking cows or treating cows or vaccinating calves or whatever. I'm a big believer in being that extra step on hygiene. Herd health starts day one with a baby calf when it's born. Uh, we have colostrum and we have a colostrum program and a baby calf program and vaccination program all the way up through their life. Uh, with the adult cattle, we certainly have vaccination programs and uh, milking management and so forth. All these protocols have been written cooperatively with our consulting veterinarian, Dr. McGee, and he kind of outlines things that will work for our dairy, uh, talks about the protocols and the treatments of choice that will work for our cows and our situation. It's 24-7, cattle get treated every day or worked every day or managed in some way. And so record keeping is really important. So we have three dairy farms and uh, we work, you know, to improve our genetics just like any operation would. And now two of the three dairies are closed herd. We still buy a few cattle for the third operation. Uh, our genetics are improving every year and it makes it easier to find those really good keeping kind of helpers. It's a never-ending process. I talk about training and I say train, train, train. It's almost like a commercial. You got to keep training them and you always have new people. You need to spend time with them. You need to make them understand why they do a certain thing a certain way. So everybody knows the game plan ahead of time. Just part of training. From the dairy side, you know, it's a highly regulated food product, milk is. And so, you know, I had some background in that. And then as I got more in beef production and BQA got to be a real emphasis, uh, it was natural for me to just kind of pick up on that. Uh, we started weaning calves at the ranch, and so BQA just kind of fell into that, you know, having a good vaccination program and so forth. And then the animal handling part, uh, something that we have always believed in. So we, we kind of enjoy that. As far as the award is concerned, this is a very prestigious award. Beef Quality Assurance really is about food safety to me. Prevention is by far cheaper than treatment or culling. The easiest prevention is hygiene of some kind, staying clean and being clean. Also, prevention falls at your uh, vaccination program, getting your immunity up. In South Florida, we're almost like a subtropical environment. These little calves, it's tough on them, it's tough on cows. Like I say, our, our vaccination protocol is pretty extensive. And um, fortunately for good vaccines, we're able to prevent a lot of disease. Cow comfort is uh, about removing stress. Uh, we had a veterinarian that worked with us one time and he said it's all about stress. And that's so true. It doesn't matter if it's dairy cattle or beef cattle. Uh, taking the stress off of them. Well, it's uh, about handling our animals and being good with our animals. It uh, helps our bottom line as far as milk production and beef production. It's an all part of uh, making sure you have a quality product. The dairy business and the beef business go hand in hand. We'll put together the shipment manifest, which uh, includes all the IDs and birth dates of all the calves which is a lot of paperwork, a lot of records to keep track of, but that's what uh, adds value to them as far as getting them into the export market and going out of the country in the terms of source and age verification. We just, we gotta be on top of things. If there's something I can do for the industry, then I'm willing to do it. I've always had the philosophy, and my dad before me, if you take your living from uh, industry, from uh, business, then you should be willing to give back to help it, uh, you know, be a surviving, be a better place, 
for the people coming behind us. So always we're trying to improve things or at least make have a presence in the industry. It's a great place for beef cattle production and uh, I anticipate this ranch producing beef cattle for a long, long time.